Oh my god, this is my third time recording this video, but I wanted to add something to it. So I'm just gonna re-record it all. Um, so, hello gamers and welcome back to another video. So, you might have seen through probably the Discord, or maybe the, even the Reddit, that uh, Stylus has put out this challenge, or contest, or bounty, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it reads, Hi all, the developers are putting out a 1 million Robux bounty for the first map that beats Desert Storm in their own metrics. Rules, no revamps of existing maps, all assets must be made by you, and the map must have reasonable performance. And you might look at this and be like, at first glance, wow, that's kinda cool, a million Robux for beating Desert Storm? How hard can that be? Um, it's uh, quite impossible looking at past, past statistics and current statistics too. So um, I have made a spreadsheet here. Uh, containing all, all map metrics that I posted a week ago and the age of the map. All right, this is very important. And you might notice a trend here. Okay, wait, before I start um, <laughs> explaining the trend here, the left column is uh, showing when the revamp of said map was added. They will be in orange because I don't I don't consider them new maps. And they even said in the rules, no revamps of existing maps. So it wouldn't really matter if uh, these were considered new because they wouldn't even be eligible for the bounty. Uh, but they're orange and uh, they're they're just revamps of older maps. So that's the left column showing the when the revamp was added. Uh, the right column is just treating the revamps as the old maps, you know? Um, if a map is older than four years, it's in red. If a map is under four years, it is in green. And to the right here, I simply removed all the extra revamps. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's all there is. And uh, you might have already noticed the trend here. The top 15 maps are dominated by old maps. And uh, I'm unsure why that is. Um, I have a few theories though to why old maps seem to just dominate the, the place here, you know? Um, I think it's one thing that people are used to them. They're just so easy to get into. You can just vote for it and you know what's gonna happen, all right? People are afraid to try out these new maps. And one more thing is like that uh, a lot of these maps have this sort of reputation around the game. So some of these maps are very old, as you can see. Desert Storm is seven years old, Metro is seven years old, Highway Lot is seven years old, Crane Sight is seven years old. A lot of these maps are from the beta and alpha stages. and they have sort of been in the game for so long now that the general player base simply just know of these maps. If a player from like 2018 came back that were pretty avid back then, they would also just know these maps because they are just so familiar now. The only map up here that is technically new is Bazaar, but even that I find unfair to consider it like that much of... Okay, so here's my argument when it comes to Bazaar and why I, I think it's so popular. So, if you didn't know, Bazaar is a combination of Dust 1, Dust 2, and Short Dust from Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And if a map requires a combination of the most iconic maps, probably in gaming history, to even come close to the metrics of Desert Storm, I feel like that this challenge is a little chalked in a way, you know? Because the only actual new original map that is up here is height and that is at the 15th spot and it is over it's one year and one month old and now you might say well if it has come this if it has come this far up in one year and one month can it can't it come further up well technically it can here technically it can but we have old metrics here where height is quite literally at the same spot it hasn't moved an inch from its original spot i just find it very silly to put a price on something that technically isn't that achievable. I'm not gonna rag on Stylus because it really doesn't matter that much. They said that they were gonna pay out uh, prices for maps that do not beat Desert Storm, which will most likely be all maps that get added throughout this challenge. But this payment is gonna be what they usually pay. Like if you made a map before this bounty, you were gonna get this payment anyways. So. I don't necessarily think this is a bad thing that they're making this challenge, that they want people to make maps, but I find it a little silly um, giving it a price because it technically isn't that achievable. But uh, all I hope from this live challenge is that we can actually get some new maps, no, some new good maps from this. Hopefully people put, put their heart into this and actually put some, put out something new. What if, like, what if the community bonds together, all right, for once, and like one of these new maps that a lot of people consider good just climbs the ladder? Then I would be happy if they proved me wrong that something can actually beat Desert Storm. But as it stands right now, Considering the the newest map that is in the top 10 is three years old, 
um, it seems pretty unlikely. Though, you know, you can give it some time. Like, you can see here, there are some outliers. Like, Maul is down here. It's very old map too. Rig is 4 years old. Ruins is 4.5 years old. And Maul revamp is also here. The general trend here is that the bottom half of the uh, most played maps are newer maps. And the top half are older maps. And you can't just shrug away that because it's clear what the community seems to... Um, enjoy when it comes to playing maps, you know? Because I wouldn't even say that this room is the best map in the game. It's a good map. It's a very familiar map. That's the thing. Like, everyone knows about Desert Storm, and I feel like that's the ultimate point there, because everyone simply knows about the map. And I feel like there's almost this uh, circle that uh, goes around when it comes to people um, playing the game and voting for a map. So when a new player hops into the game, there's a very big chance that they will actually play Desert Storm. And, that, and because of the fact that Desert Storm is a pretty reliable and pretty solid map, I'd say, they will most likely have a good time, which will also lead them to voting for that map the next time they see it, because they were like, oh, this was a pretty good map the last time I played it, right? Because I'd say that people are kind of afraid to try out new maps. I haven't really tried out new maps either. I, I am a, I've avoided new maps all this time. Like I, I played a lot of new maps in the test place and I really did, didn't enjoy them all. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Familiarity really seems to make uh, a map popular. And looking at the other graph here or the other chart here, what, what do you want to call it? The other columns um, without the extra revamps, it's still old maps. Like the revamps, technically just make it harder for new maps to even climb the ranks. But all in all, I just, uh, I find the price kind of silly that they even added a price, but I want to look at it at the positive side. Hopefully we can get some very nice new maps from this. Hopefully we can actually get good maps from this. That's all I want. I just want some good maps. But the fact that Bazaar is 20,000 plays behind Desert Storm, no, 22,000 plays behind, makes it unlikely for any new map. Um, to reach that spot. And Bazaar, as I said before, being a combination of Dust 1 and Dust 2 and Short Dust. Okay, honestly, if they added a map called Dust 2, I think it could be Desert Storm. But other than that, nah. They gotta, like, copy some name for it to even be able to come close to Desert Storm. That's all I gotta say. But if you guys enjoyed the video, press the like button. Please give me you guys' opinion about this. Um, I'm kind of interested what you guys think about this. This is just how I feel about it. I just don't think it is a very ish achievable... Um, task in a way you know but yeah i love you guys i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya love you mwah